Good morning. My name is Reagan, and I'm an eighth grade student at St. Michael's and student council vice president. Let us begin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Today we commemorate Pope St. Martin I. Pope St. Martin I is considered a martyr for the faith, even though he was not killed outright. He witnessed against the false idea that Christ had no human will. Because of his position, he was seized and tortured. Cruel treatment having taken its toll, Martin died in the year 655. He is the last of the early popes to be venerated as a martyr. Pope St. Martin I, pray for us. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Two of Jesus' disciples were going to a village called Emmaus, about seven miles from Jerusalem. Jesus himself came near and went with them, but their eyes were kept from recognizing him. Jesus said to them, what are you discussing with each other? Then one of them, whose name is Cleopas, answered him, are you the only stranger in Jerusalem who does not know the things that have taken place there in these days? The things about Jesus of Nazareth, who was a prophet, mighty in deed and word before God and all the people, and how our chief priests and leaders handed him over to be condemned to death and crucified him. Some women of our group astounded us. They were at the tomb early this morning, and when they did not find his body there, they came back and told us that they had indeed seen a vision of angels who said that he was alive. The Gospel of the Lord. Think about this silently in your heart. Why do you think the disciples were prevented from recognizing Jesus? Please join me in saying the St. Patrick's Breastplate Prayer. Christ be with me. Christ within me, Christ behind me, Christ before me, Christ beside me, Christ to lend me, Christ to comfort and restore me, Christ beneath me, Christ above me, Christ in quiet, Christ in danger, Christ in hearts of all that love me, Christ in mouth of friend and stranger. Amen. For our protection, and especially for our military and police forces, let us now pray the prayer to St. Michael. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell, Satan and all the evil spirits, who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. St. Michael the Archangel, pray for us. St. Teresa of Kolkata, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. At this time, please stand and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all.
The quote of the day is by St. Augustine. God loves each of us as if there were only one of us. Have a terrific Tuesday. This is Miss McCready. Go Crusaders.